So this is actually a pretty huge announcement for AMD. They're trying to sort of shake things up a bit and change some stigma. So this could actually be really cool for them or not. But anyway, Terry from AMD is going to take you through all the cool things about the new software. <laughs> Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. Hey, Tech Team GB, great to be here. I'm Terry Macadon. I came from Canada, and actually what I do is work for AMD, and uh, I run the strategy for our software division. What that means is basically taking all the requirements from end users, from customers, and determining what features and uh, what functionality our software will have in it. In particular, the drivers. Um, we're here today because our drivers and our software offering, uh, which has been known for Catalyst as Catalyst for many, many years, has now been renamed and uh, brought out with a brand new start as Radeon Software. The reason why we're moving to Radeon Software is because at AMD we formed a brand new division called the Radeon Technologies Group. Within this group, the primary mandate and the focus is graphics. Simple as that. We have all the graphics talent within AMD working on delivering top-notch graphics solution, whether it be in the gaming space or the professional space for workstation users, uh, for video files and for everyday home users. So at AMD quite recently, we announced the formation of a brand new division within the company known as the Radeon Technologies Group. The Radeon Technology Group is essentially uh, a unit within AMD that focuses quite simply on graphics. AMD being a company that, that has two main products and actually three main products because we have CPUs and we have GPUs and of course we have products which combine the two known as APUs. The Radeon Technology Group will focus primarily on graphics and uh, the ability to do so gives us a better focus on, on the, on the ver vertical, particularly for graphics, whether it be for everyday users, gaming, uh, gamers, uh, video files, or even professional users in the workstation space. Today, actually, we're, uh, London is our, is our first stop on this uh, tour that we've embarked on. Uh, we're gonna see uh, a, bunch of, uh, a bunch of cities, a bunch of journalists across the world. Uh, tonight is day one of this uh, of this said tour, and uh, the primary focus is taking all the mandates and all the goodness of the Radeon Technology Group and translating that into something that is actually uh, a user can see and uh, is actually quite useful. The first thing that we're actually launching today is Radeon Settings. Radeon Settings is our brand new user interface that lets users access the controls of their GPU at their fingertips. We have a lot of new features, including a brand new game manager that will look at all the games on your PC and let you customize the way that each game behaves. So as a user, what you can do is you can go in there and say, for game A, I'd like this level of anti-aliasing and, and these type of clock speeds when I'm overclocking, uh, this type of monitor usage and things like that. Whereas for game B, I have different settings. The main difference, aside from the look and the aesthetics of it, is it's re-architected from scratch, brand new architecture. The old one was based on .NET, the new one is based on Qt, and the startup time is actually quite significant. What used to take seven, eight seconds to start up now happens in less than one second. Along with the improved startup times, we now have better discoverability, where our main design goal is that all the functions that you may use as a user is one click away from you. So in particular, you can go into gaming or game uh, manager and you can launch your games with one click based on the profile you've defined. You can do the same thing with videos and you can do the same thing with Affinity. Also within Radeon settings we have the ability to customize and view your videos via predefined profiles. So if you're watching sports you can simply go to Radeon settings and click on the sports buttons and that will make sure that our algorithms will be optimized to show you your sports in the best way possible for your particular system. Likewise, if you're watching a movie, you go into the cinema uh, selection, the pre-select, and you pick that one. For the users that like to have fine-tuned control of their settings, you can go into the customized settings and you can adjust the settings to make them appear any way that you particularly choose based on your environment and your system. 
One of the other cool new features within the Radeon settings is a simplified Ifinity control. So Ifinity, for users that may not be familiar with the term, is an AMD feature where you have two or three or four, five or even six monitors hooked up to one PC. And what you can do is you get this single large surface that shows your game across a variety of monitors. Before, setting that up was quite manual and took a few steps for you to get it exactly the way you wanted to behave. With the brand new simplified Ifinity settings within Radeon, uh, within Radeon settings, you just click a button and we're going to use our algorithms to predict the best possible usage scenario for all the monitors that you have and give you the ultimate in experiences for things like gaming. So having said that, uh, it's been an honor to, uh, to talk to you guys about uh, both the Radeon Technologies group and the brand new Radeon settings uh, user profile, but the best is yet to come. Uh, Radeon software, the first version, we're calling it the Crimson Edition. We are gonna come back and give you guys all a full update on a, an amazing, incredible uh, new feature set that uh, will have a bunch of new features for all our users, as well as some performance improvements and stability enhancements. And that's coming before the end of the year. So just a really quick recap, um, AMD's announcing their Radeon Settings Crimson Edition driver. It's basically scrapping the old Catalyst Control Center, which is what you're probably used to if you have an AMD graphics card, and is basically kind of a re-architected driver, so um, it's uh, you know a lot faster to boot, which is really nice. I mean, Catalyst Control Center can take up to, well, it's they say 10 seconds, I've had it take minutes, which is just annoying, but apparently it takes less than a second to boot up now, and I will be doing a full video when I, when I get hold of the driver to actually show you what it's like and, and you know what's new about it, so once that's out, I'll give it to you, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, also, it's really easy to navigate with kind of a menu bar along the top of tabs that just uh, you know say things like gaming and video and uh, color and stuff like that, so if you want to change um, anything, then it's all very simple and laid out nicely. Um, also, there's new features, kind of like a game manager for if you want to change specific settings for individual games, that's quite cool. And there's also new color settings, so instead of having to tweak hues and saturations, you can just hit, you know, sports or you can hit, you know, cinema or whatever, and it'll just change your monitor or your, you know, your color settings to match that. So that's pretty cool too. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the, the main points. There's going to be new, um, you know, new points coming out very shortly when I get the driver. So as I said, stick around for that full video. Check out Facebook and Twitter for, you know, links that when it is up and uh, yeah let me know what you thought of the, the the video if you want to see more sort of announcement type stuff then let me know also let me know what system you're running I'm quite interested how many of you are actually using AMD graphics cards and therefore how many of you will actually be affected by this also will you buy an AMD graphics card now that the drivers are uh, you know a lot better and uh, yeah I guess that's it, so let me know thought of the driver by the way as well. Um, also, feel free to subscribe if you want more stuff like this, or you know, just the general kind of techie stuff, AMD, Intel, whatever you like, um, or Nvidia, I guess, that's probably the more personal category. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, check out some of their videos, also check out Eurotech if you're in the UK for tech stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you all in the next video.